Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Uniform circular motion. This session is uh, about centripetal acceleration and the force. First of all, uh, I would like to talk to centripetal force. Centripetal force, first of all, is the force. We use FC, so the unit is Newton, right? Unit is unit as force. And the centripetal force, the direction is point to the center of circle. So the direction is point to the center of circle. And also, the centripetal force is the net force. Is the net force which point to the center of the circle. The second, what kind of force can be centripetal force? Tension force, normal force. And the static friction force, static friction force, and uh, can say um, electric magnetic electric force, electromagnetic force, and all those, and also gravity. All this force can be centripetal force, or two of them, the net force of two of them, depend on the situation. So the centripetal force is come from different forces, depend on the situation. So centripetal force is not the force other than this one. Because centripetal force just got a name because the direction of the net force it point to the center of circle. That's why they got the name. For example, if you tied a string and uh, the other side tied a small ball doing circular motion on the table, at this situation for free body diagram, the ball is actuated by gravity normal force from the table and also because doing circular motion the string always tied up with the ball so that's the tension in this situation because the normal force and the gravity they balanced there are no motion on vertical the only circular motion on horizontal table that's why this situation is the centripetal force is the tension force. For example, a pendulum swing back and forth and at the bottom this situation we have gravity, we have tension force and that situation the centripetal force comes from tension and gravity because the center is point this way. So the centripetal force is the net force of tension and gravity. Another example, as we know, if you drive a car around the curve, around the flat uh, circle road, so you can see that situation what is the centripetal force come from? From the static friction. This is static friction. Come from static friction. The center is over here. That's why they point to the center. Right? So this is the different situation. You can say it's grab and also uh, sometimes, you know, have 
electric force or electromagnetic force can be centripetal force. The second I talk about centripetal acceleration. Centripetal acceleration, there are three formulas. So equals to V squared over R. And we can say the V, we can say the V squared over R, V, the unit is meter per second, meter per second, and the square, the bottom R is the radius of the circle, which is meter. And you can see after this one, you got meter square over second square divided meter. So this meter cancel with this meter. So we got the meter per second square. So this is the first formula. If you given from the question you given is angular velocity is not given tangential velocity. You given the angular velocity is omega. So the second formula you can try this one because what the relation with tangential velocity and angular velocity because we know the velocity, tangential velocity equals angular velocity times radius. So we put this one into the formula. We have acceleration equals omega times r squared over r. Then we got omega squared r squared over r. Cancel one r. We got omega squared times r. This is the first formula. And this is the second formula here. So the second formula is omega squared times r. And the third formula, sometimes we given, is period. If you get period, then also we can derive the other formula. Because what the period related to the angular velocity because we know angular velocity equal 2 pi divided t, right? So using this one to plot here, then we have acceleration equals omega square times r equals omega square is 2 pi over t square times r, which gives us 4 pi square times r over t. So the third formula, we got 4 pi square r, this is t square, over t square. This is the third formula. So depending on the given information, you can choose one of them. Actually, this one, sometimes you can uh, just memorizing these two, and this one, you can, using this one, cover it by yourself. Combine these two, you got this, right? So, let me give you some example. For example, is uh, one situation is a car uh, with a speed of 72 kilometer per hour, for example, a car is drive at 72 kilometer per hour and it goes around a, a level circle track with radius is, is for example radius is 500 meter and we're looking for what is acceleration looking for the centripetal acceleration in this situation we can see because you given is the tangential velocity, so we can use v square over r to find the acceleration very fast. Just to plug a number into the formula, but here you need to be careful because in SI unit we need to use meter per second, is not kilometer per hour. So that's why before you plug a number in, we need to convert the unit. To convert unit, say I show you V equals 72 
kilometer per hour, we write per hour on the burden. So what we need to do, we need to get, finally we got meters per second. We need to get meter per second. That's why you need to convert kilometer to meter and convert hour to second, right? So we can write 72, one kilometer equals thousand meter. So we can multiply thousand. You got the meter. And one hour equals, one hour equals 60 minutes. And one minute equals 60 seconds. And so you got the second, right? And this, uh, this way, we got V equals, you can cancel the zero, cancel the zero. Then you have 720, 72 minus 10 is 720 divided 36. And we got 20 meter per second. After you got the 20 meter per second, then plug in into the formula, 20 meter per second square divided R, which is 500 meter. So it gives us 20 square equal 400, and the unit we already meter cancel one meter. They have still meter on the top square on the bottom second square. The 500 you got this one cancel. You got 0 0.8 meter per second square. So when the car drive at the 72 kilometer per hour goes around a circle with 500 meter radius the centripetal acceleration is 0 0.8 meter per second square next I want to give you another example is talking about uh, uh, the moon we know the moon is rotate about the earth is the period is 27.3 days. That means the moon the moon revolves the earth 27.3 days complete one circular motion and the radius between the moon and the center of Earth is equal to 3.8 times 10 to the 5 kilometers. These two information given. Looking for the centripetal acceleration. So because you given is 27.3 days is the period. So that's why we need use another formula, we, we can use this formula, acceleration so equals, as we know, is 4 pi squared times r over t squared, right? And also we can say, we first uh, using, you can directly put the number here, but this is squared, right? It looks like a complicated, but if you use this way, you first use from the t, say because t equal 27.3 days, you need to convert into second, which is 27.3 times 24, one day 24 hours, times 60 minutes, times 60 seconds. So it gives you the answer uh, is 2.36, 2.36 times 10 to the 6 second. And then you can from T, you find the omega. So omega equals 2 pi divided T, which equals 2 pi divided by 2.36 times 10 to the 6 second and uh, you can calculate this one 
you got is the answer we got uh, this one is the number we got is 2.66 2.66 times 10 to the negative 6 because the omega is 2 pi is really red is per second so this is red per second after got this one, then we use acceleration, centripetal acceleration equals omega squared times r. This formula, right? So we have this one, right? 2.66 times 10 to the negative 6 square and multiply r is 3.8 times 10 to the 5 kilometer. The kilometer need change to meter, which is one kilometer is thousand meter. We put three more zero to the exponent. We got eight exponent. Then we got abstraction. Finally, we can use calculate to calculate got 2.69 times 10 to the negative three meter per second squared. That means we have three formula to calculate centripetal acceleration depend on the information. If you given the tangential velocity and use v square or r, if you given the angular velocity or given the period, you can use centripetal uh, acceleration you call omega square times r or you can use 4 pi square times r divided t square. So here I show you, you know, this formula take two steps, right? First uh, you know, this formula and you know, this formula. Okay? This is presented by Wise Guy. Thank you.